you guys, it's Victoria. No, <laughs> long time no see. Um, I just finished shooting a Get Ready With Me with Rachel. She is dear soul on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, we just tried out these Pony Effect lip powder, powder, lip powder lip. lips. This is hers. Pretty, pretty. We're about to go eat, so. Twenty-five hours. <laughs> we made it to Zongsu. Now we are finding this restaurant called Lemongrass that I actually reviewed for a magazine the article. I'll link it in the description if you want to see the magazine. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good place. So we're going for the second time. I'm so excited. Songsu is an area known for for very aesthetic cafes and streets it's like hot place but like not super crowded area <laughs> you can go to a lot of the nice cafes and restaurants without having to wait too long except for like what is that one that's always really crowded? the onion yeah the onion don't the go onion. there it's always so crowded yeah this, this area is chill this is where we're going you know it's a secret place when it's in a random alley. <laughs> yeah, we walk past it three times. I've been here before though. This place, three of us, they have fried avocado. It's so good. Here it is. So lemongrass is so poppin', we have to wait an hour for our seats, but we but decide, we still wait. Yeah, <laughs> we put our name down, we're gonna wait and go to a cafe. You can't even see the heart. Key. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at this door. That's a pretty door. We're in this cafe called what is it? Dorel Bakery or something. It looks very skater vibes. And we got these skater vibe cold brew in like a soda can. <laughs> oh. Cups are interesting. They are. What is it even? I think someone's like throwing coffee at someone. Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> we just finished eating a lemongrass. We did. It was so good. We had the pad thai and the and the calamar curry. Curry. Green curry. Green curry. And then I had a beer and like grapefruit salad. That place is awesome. The chef there is really sweet. Like she's super sweet. She was like thanking us for coming. Yeah, and she like, she so genuine and Yeah, sweet. and she recognized us before and she's like, You came here before? I'm like, yeah, it's it's a so while to rec Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she recognized me but then at the end she's like, Oh, you I came mean, before you too. <laughs> yeah, yeah we were there early. together. <laughs> but yeah, we're just walking back to my place now. We'll see you later. Hey guys, I'm back home now. I thought before I like get undressed and settled down, I'll show you guys my OOTD because I really liked my outfit today and I thought my makeup looked really good, so might as well put myself on camera more. <laughs> Tied in the front and I wore these. Since this is a skincare channel and I'm trying to talk more about skincare on here and post more frequently, I'll show you guys my get unready routine with me I guess and it's just basically my nighttime routine and this one is I guess a bit more because I have makeup on I don't usually wear makeup like I do my makeup like three times a month really um, but I'll show the products I use to get my makeup off and then what I would do after that Okay, about to wash off my makeup using first this cleansing oil that I brought back from Japan last week, the Senka All Clear Oil. This pony lipstick has held up really nicely. I'm gonna go in with more precision. 
incision around that eye area using a cotton pen. Now I'm going to use a rice water foaming cleanser. makeup off after a long day fresh I'm gonna be making a video soon how I cleared up some of my dark spots with a vitamin C serum that I've been loving these days so watch out for that now to do the rest of my routine I'm gonna go in with this Bunon Bunon toner the toner I will go in with hyaluronic acid hydro power essence from Coes RX lock in the moisture with hyaluronic acid <laughs> After that absorbs, now we can do my fave uh, Green Tangerine uh, Vita C Dark Spot Serum from Goodall. With just two pumps of that, focus it on areas with also most of my dark spots as well. Get that in there. Right in you. After that, I do my uh, moisturizer. If you guys watch the Get Ready With Me that I did with Rachel on her channel, in the daytime we both use this Desertica Collagen Moisturizing Cream from Natural Derma Project, but at nighttime I actually choose to opt for another one of their super moisturizing creams. At nighttime, I prefer to use the Sika Bio Placenta Cream. What it's good for doing is like basically helping your skin regenerate, revitalize your skin. And your skin's already doing a lot of that while you're sleeping, so. I like to do that at nighttime to just further assist the repairing and revitalizing that my skin is doing at nighttime. of these two creams is actually pretty different as well this one's more like kind of gel feeling whereas the other one's a thick cream I can show you guys actually so this is what the bioplacenta cream looks like it's kind of if I put this board it would all kind of fall and drip out of the container very like liquidy <laughs> gel-like formula and then the one that i use in the daytime actually wants some more of this my skin i mentioned this in rachel's video i typically have like very oily skin but these days it's been very dry i don't know if that just came with age i'm not really that old <laughs> i'm not old at all yeah as i've gotten older my skin has just felt a lot more dry so I've been trying to put a lot more moisture into it and to show you guys this Desertica cream is like if I put it forward it definitely would not fall out it's very thick creamy texture super moisturizing feels super good they both feel really good definitely recommend these two creams I will put the link in the description for them and their website. I finish with facial oil, and the one I'm using right now is the Udang Vitamin Oil Serum, which has, this brand is known for having just completely natural, organic products. And this one has rosehip oil and rose, lavender, mirror, mirror, and frankincense essential oils. A few drops of this to just lock in moisture even further and that's my 
nighttime skincare routine that was my nighttime skincare routine it was really fun taking you guys along with me today after a very long time of not having <laughs> vlogged i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you guys stay tuned for the other things i do on my channel and definitely go check out the video i did with rachel i'll leave that in the description um and yeah say hello in the comments i really love to chat with you guys and you know see you next time okay bye